I'm actually so stinking excited for this YouTube video. Mainly because I think it's gonna be hilarious. If anything, it looks worse. You know that I like to hike everything up there. I don't know, does it look lifted? <laughs> my butt's just not big enough, but for my butt, it doesn't look great. Today, we are going over TikTok viral leggings. So we have the navigation dupes right here, supposed to go straight up the booty cheek. This is the Alphalete scrunchy booty dupe. That's also supposed to be interesting because they have a stick on the back that's supposed to like push your butt cheeks like outward and then we have the full-on textured red leggings and last but not least the viral textured legging with the booty scrunch without further ado let's get to it oh sorry also if you're new here my name's hannah what's up hi how are you? Thank you for joining us. The first pair of leggings we're going to do are the Navigation, the NVGTN. It is their dupe. So basically how their leggings work is there's just like this super small booty contour under the butt and then on the top you could see with this the hemming here how there's just like a little bit of contour tapering down the one thing that i do know about navigation because i actually own a pair of their shorts is the waistband is supposed to really hold you in also if you guys are staring at this it's not a hickey okay it's from my curling iron so i'm going to lower you down pop these on be right back so for reference i am wearing white underwear these are by the brand ox jocks they are 24.99 and i got them in a size medium they fit really well around the waist just like i told you they would there's no front seam so there shouldn't be any issues with camel which is great it does have some contour that goes down the side navigation also has the same contour so as you can see it just goes like straight up the cheeks which is something that i love about navigation because if you've been with my channel for a while you know that i like to hike everything up there this does it for me how cute i think that for the spring slash summer it's a great color what i'm concerned about is if they're squat proof which we'll find out very shortly i don't have my hopes up because actually on the packaging is as 65 to 75 percent squat proof also the length of them is really good i am 5'9 i'm actually so impressed I didn't think I was gonna like these, but here I am. These for me are a thumbs up. Go get your hands on them. Link is in the description. The next pair that I just put on are the bright red textured leggings. I don't know how I feel about them. <laughs> So everyone on on TikTok wears these and it's supposed to make your butt look amazing. First of all, my butt doesn't look amazing. <laughs> Second of all, there's a top waistband and These are from the brand Fitto, F-I-T-T-O-O, -O, size medium, $29.99. All right, so here we are. Here are the leggings. There's a seam here, so it makes the waistband this tall, but there's only an elastic in this top half an inch. It doesn't look as bad as I thought. I thought it was gonna be like this, you know, like really digging in, but it's not. But something that I did notice is when I pull them up, does give you camel toe there is a front seam um, but i'm sure if you wear the right pair of underwear or if you put like a thong liner on your thong then it doesn't give you camel toe i feel like the waist comes up nice and high the texture is like this super bumpy texture and the material's very stretchy and thick and then the length is good as well but the back is just like not my favorite. I don't know. I guess if you have like a different type of butt, it would look better on you. But for my butt, it doesn't look great. This is the side view and there's the back. It's cute, but it doesn't do that much for me. So the next pair of leggings we're going over are from the brand Success, but it's like spelled really weird. I got them in a size medium and they were $31.95. These are going to be the dupes for the Alphalete Amplify. If you watched my Alphalete video, I'll include a link right here. You know that I did not like the Amplify leggings. I actually think I might like these Amazon ones better. It does have a ribbed waistband and no front seam, which I really like because then it prevents you from getting any camel. And then on the butt, I don't know if you can see it, but there is like this very slight contour that goes like all the way around the butt. And that is supposed to give you like a lift. I don't know, does it look lifted? <laughs> I can't really tell to be honest. I guess it kind of does. Weird, weird. <laughs> the length is good. I will say that out of the ones I've already tried on, these seem to be the least stretchy. Like I wish it was a little bit stretchier right here when my legs are open to do like a squat, but it's not that constricting. It's fine, like you would be fine. But I did just want to mention that. And then on the back, here's the seam that I was talking about that Amplify has. That's just kind of like a block. 
so it looks a little weird. You know, I mean, for half the price of the Apple Elite ones, maybe I'll keep them. <laughs> I would give these a thumbs up. I wasn't expecting to like these either, but here we are. Here we are. Okay, we only have one more pair of leggings, and it's the leggings that I'm the most excited to try on. It's the super textured ones, but really, really fast. I do want to talk about this brand. This video is sponsored by Dossier, so thank you so much. Basically, if you've never heard of them, it is a inspired by perfume brand. So what they do is they actually take like a really high quality large name brand perfume and they recreate it into their own. It normally smells like exactly like the very expensive brand, but for a very affordable price. So they are $29 and I think that they also have some that are $39. It has this card and the card tells you everything. It tells you the notes. It tells you what it was inspired by. So this one was inspired by Tom Ford Soleil Blanc et du Perfume. <laughs> Sorry, my accents are bad. This one's called Floriental Coconut and it comes with this super tiny little spray tester. This thing looks small, but I have been using it already three, four times and it's still more than halfway full. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to, you're supposed to, you're supposed to use this and try this for as long as you need until you decide if you don't like it or you do like it. If you do like it, then it comes with the larger one already in the box. And cool thing about these is the top is magnetic and you really only see that in luxury brands. Mm, smells so good. But if you don't like it, then you can send it back. So that's the cool part. It's hassle-free returns. You just send the whole package back. You can keep this. Another cool thing is on each bottle, it tells you the notes. And I love that because I'm the type of person who's like, I don't even know what kind of perfume I like, but now I'm getting used to it because I can read this. They sent me two of them and I can like compare them and read what notes are in each one. one for example, has cardamom, pistachio, bergamot, lang lang. I'm pretty sure yang lang, ling ling, lang lang. I don't know. It's from the Philippines. It's actually a Filipino flower. Like me, I'm a Filipino flower. Tuberose, jasmine, cedarwood, amber, benzene, and coconut. It tells you the top notes, middle notes, and base notes. So I'm gonna show you like how much comes out of this sample. And I love these samples because then I just throw them in my purse. Here, I'm gonna show you what the spray looks like. You see that? Like, it's a good spray. It's like, you know? I just sprayed so much on me. Oh my god. But. It smells really good. I really like the floral coconut. And they are a cruelty-free brand. I believe they say that they're vegan as well. And there's no harsh chemicals that you would have in other large brand perfumes. Something that I struggle with is finding perfumes that keep the scent. I don't know if the scent feels like it's going away because I've been sniffing it for so many hours or if it actually goes away. I did notice that throughout the entire day I could still smell this. Like I'd pick up my shirt and go like that and I could still smell it. Check them out. I'll have a link in the description box below. All right, now let's check out these pants. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought I was gonna love these and I don't. Problem number one, this. This is a huge problem. The waistband is nice and large. The elastic is about this wide compared to the actual waistband. So it is a thick elastic, but it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the waistband. Like I said, front seam, camel toe, we, we get it. The length is really good. It's actually pretty much full length on me. I don't think that I like the feeling of them. They're very itchy and I don't feel like anyone has said that yet. This is the side view. This is the back view. Don't get me wrong, I might not like these because my butt's just not big enough, you know? I don't think it looks any better. If anything, it looks worse. The waistband's soft, but the rest of the legging is very itchy and I can't stop needing to pull this out of my crotch. There you go. <laughs> there was our TikTok viral try-on haul. I have to take these leggings off. They're still on me and they're so itchy. Oh my god. If you have gotten any of these TikTok famous leggings, I would love to hear your opinion about them. Please let me know in the comments below because I, I know some people who love these leggings, but I hate them. They're just so itchy and they give me a massive camera. So moral of the story, the red textured ones and the ones I just had on didn't like them. The two dupes, I really liked those. I liked the navigation dupes and the black ones for the amplified dupes. Do what you want, order what you want, and then let me know your experience in the comment section below. All right guys, I'll catch you next time. Actually, I think next week we're gonna do a self tanning video and I've never self tanned before. So stay tuned for that, it'll be a good time. I'll catch you next Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.